Hi, my name is Shatadal Das. Welcome to another educational video on the topic Operation of Lightning Arrestor. I hope you must have already watched my previous videos on Surge Protection, Lightning Protection Zone and Barrister Conduction. Today we will understand how does a lightning arrestor works when a surge event has occurred. A lightning arrestor is not the spiky metal rod used on the top of tall buildings. That is a lightning rod and this is a lightning arrestor which is more commonly addressed as the same. The technical community knows it as surge arrestor. Lightning arrestor is the name for a surge arrestor which is primarily meant to divert the lightning surge to ground. The name surge arrestor is more generic and are meant for all types of surges like lightning surge, switching surge or power frequency temporary over voltage. A lightning rod installed at the rooftop of the buildings are actually at zero potential because it is grounded. The clouds which are charged have a potential difference with respect to earth which when exceeds the breakdown voltage of the surrounding air will result in a lightning. At that instant, a streamer of charge flows from the cloud to the lightning rod which we observe as a lightning spark. The charge from lightning is grounded to earth by a copper strip. So the lightning rod and the earthing system are relatively simple but the science is interesting. But the purpose of the lightning rods and its allied system is to ground the surge current regardless of the surge voltage. A lightning arrestor is much different than the lightning rod. At normal operating voltage, the lightning arrestor offers high impedance to the system voltage. When there is a system fault, it senses over voltage and the impedance reduces drastically. Once the surge energy is diverted to the ground, the surge voltage reduces and the impedance of the surge arrestor restores, which means the lightning arrestor regains its high impedance. This is a major difference between lightning arrestor and lightning rod. When a lightning hits a transmission tower, the surge current is at first diverted to the ground. Depending on the earthing resistance and soil resistivity, a back surge might return from ground, which cause insulator to experience flashover. With the back flashover, a lightning surge voltage is induced in the transmission line. To divert such over voltage to earth, lightning arrestor have to be connected. There is another scenario where due to the mutual coupling of the transmission lines, surge voltage gets induced in another conductor. Such induced over voltage also needs to be grounded and yet again the job is done by the lightning arrestor. Please note that a lightning arrestor cannot be used to divert direct lightning strike without the high risk of failing. Only lightning rod can do that. Now let's see what happens to a lightning arrestor before and after a surge event. This is a line to earth voltage of a three phase system. These are switching and lightning insulation levels of that three phase system. This is the rated voltage of the surge arrestor which is derived as earth fault factor times the line to earth voltage. Usually, the earth fault factor is assumed to be 1.4, but system designers determine this based on the positive, negative and zero sequence impedance of the system. To learn more on the earth fault factor, we can take it in a different video. Now let's say a surge event like a lightning strike occurs in the system. The lightning arrestor senses the voltage, subsequently the surge current gets diverted to the earth and the system voltage returns to the normal. But due to the passage of the surge current, a residual voltage is developed across the surge arrestor terminal. The residual voltage is important considering the fact that it has a direct impact on the system BIL and a sufficient margin needs to be kept while arrestor selection. Now let's summarize our learnings. Lightning rods are meant to be used for suppressing direct lightning strike. They remain at ground potential and can attract lightning of any polarity. Lightning arrestor is a popular name for surge arrestor and technically they are the same. Lightning arrestor responds to voltage but diverts the current to ground thereby reducing the over voltage in the system. For effective operation of lightning arrestor, 
selection of rating, protection margin and insulation coordination needs to be considered simultaneously. So we have come to the end of this video. I hope this video was informative. Please like this video, give your valuable comments and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.